you want, I can ask you again. Bună. <laughs> <laughs> Merhaba, ben Ömer Bayram. Galatasaray'ın YouTube kanalına hoş geldiniz. Hoş bulduk. Hoş bulduk adam. Ah, evet. <gülüyor> tamam, seni. Hadi. Şimdi... Oh, first, I need to say you... Hey, hey, hey, hey, hey, bro, bro, easy, easy. I will ask you the first question. Hmm. Start, let's go. Uh, we will ask each other about the connection between the club and Dutch football. Here is the first question. How many Dutch players put in an appearance for Galatasaray and how many names can you tell us above those names? I can give you the answers if you want. How much? I need to pay for this one. <laughs> um, we are friends in the pitch, but no. <laughs> okay, the players. Mm. Ulrich van Gobbel. This is a good one. Yes. Uh, Frank de Boer. Yes. Wesley Snyder. Yes. Nigel de Jong. Yes. Brian Babo. Yes. Who was I not over? I don't know. Ah, uh, Aipia. <laughs> uh, ah, me of course. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I find one more? Frank Rijkaard. He's a no, coach, it's... but he needs to play, right? Yeah, no, it's it's it's good. It's enough. Yeah? But I Maybe call I myself you... also like a half, you know. Because I'm half. Okay. <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> okay. First question for Umar Bayram. Did you have some Turkish friends in your neighborhood? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That was a tough question, but it's okay. Hmm. Which Dutch player joined the first the club first? Wesley Snyder or Nigel De Jong? Before you say something, I think these questions are too easy for uh, Umar. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wesley Snyder. Okay, it's correct. Uh, okay, watch. So, the second one for you. Wesley Snyder is still a fan favorite player here in Galatasaray. One of his best memories happened in a game against Fenerbahce at home. What was the main point of this one-man show at that night? I know that he scored two goals. Yeah. Left and right. Amazing goals. So, but the whole world know this one. This was also too easy. No, but you need to know. It's a Galatasaray fan. Hey, come on. Okay. Okay. Yeah? Next question. Can you please tell me the previous club that Nigel de Jong played before he joined Galatasaray? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, let me see where he played. So. Milan? <laughs> That is wrong. Wait, you want to try again? You can, yes, you can of try course again. I can try again. Okay. But I will tell you, I will tell you. It's LA Galaxy. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah it was too far from me. But Milan is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Eight years yeah, ago. Yeah, but he didn't stay so long in no, he LA didn't Galaxy. Okay. So I'm losing. We need to make it more difficult then. Do you know the final club of Ulrich van Gobbels before he joined Galatasaray? Can you please say it again? Do you know the final club of Ulrich van Gobbels before he joined Galatasaray? Final. Right. Go on. Hey, hey. <laughs> Wait, I'll put it like this. Question number three. Only one Dutch player of these four didn't play on the Fatih Terim. Tell me the one. Tell me the names. Sorry. So you don't gonna give me the four names? I will give you. <laughs> Take your time. Ure van Gobbel, Ryan Donk, Wesley Snyder, of Nigel de Jong. Nigel de Jong. That's correct. Yes! Yeah, I know. 
So, number four. Only two coaches have been part of the club. You played under one of them. Do you know the other name? Can you say it again? <laughs> Only two coaches have been part of the club. You played under one of them. Do you know the other name? I can give you... No, no, no, I don't give you a hint. You sure? Yes, because I'm losing and I need to make it... I will start to come to until 10. Yes. You come with new rules every time. I don't know yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, it's normal. Hey. It's normal. <laughs> one. Ah, the pressure. I play under one of them. But I need to know the other one, right? No. Because one you know already. <laughs> one Dutch coach. Ah, Rijkaard. I hope to make it right with this one. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Which coach have won more trophies than the other with Galatasaray? Rikering or Rijkaard? Rikering have more than Rijkaard. Hmm, yes. Damn it. Number five. Ooh, this one is a nice one. I'm ready. Good bro. one. One of Galatasaray's former goalkeeping coaches worked for Johan Cruyff's Ajax in 1980. He also took responsibility for goalkeepers' development in the Dutch national team in recent years. If you want, I can ask you again. I can do it again. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one of Galatasaray's former goalkeeping coaches worked for Johan Cruijff's Ajax in 1980. He also took responsibility for goalkeepers' development in the Dutch national team in recent years. <laughs> 10 seconds goes in now. If you don't know, you can just say it. Yeah, yeah but... It's not a bad thing to say just, I don't know. <laughs> it's pressure, bro! Oh, um... Oh, 10 seconds are over. So know. he lost this one. Franz Hoek. Yeah, of course. He was here with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, that one, this one hurts. I was here. Oh. He came with Rikering. Do you know the former assistant coach of Galatasaray who also played in the 1974 FIFA World Cup final for the Netherlands? For the Netherlands. Wait, I don't give you 10 seconds for this one, yeah? Here is the maximum. So he was the assistant, one of the assistants here before. Rikering? Mm -hmm. I didn't think that Rikering was born in 74. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Why I answer so fast? Why? <laughs> I told you, I give you Yermesan. <laughs> okay. So who were the other Dutch assistants in Galatasaray? Johan Neskens. He oh. came with Rijkaard. Okay. Okay, okay. Number six. Can you tell me the only Dutch team which played against Galatasaray in an European Cup game? Team played against Galatasaray. Yes. Euroleague or Europa? Just in Europe. It can be Champions League, Euro, UEFA Cup, Intertoto. <laughs> Time is finished. Four, three, two, one. Ajax. <laughs> no. PSV, I don't. <laughs> wow. When PSV Eindhoven won the UEFA European title in 1988, they received their only defeat against Galatasaray in Istanbul during the whole tournament. Do you know the Belgian player of that team who also coached Galatasaray between 2005 and 2007? I wasn't born that time. Okay, but there was only one coach, Erik Eretz. Yeah, that's correct. It's a Galatasaray fan here, bro! 
But if I read this question before I give answer from the last one... <laughs> yeah, but still, this one it was not easy because Eric no, but, Gerrits is a long time ago. No, but now I see that yeah. PSV played against Galatasaray. <laughs> Hey, let me let me read all the questions. Give me a second. Okay. Wait, give me a second. <laughs> okay, okay. So. Oh, please be played against Gala. It's also good. Number seven. Yes. When Galatasaray won by two goals against PSV Eindhoven in the campaign of the 2001-2002 UEFA Champions League, who was the goalkeeper of PSV? Oh, but there are, uh, options. there are options. Okay, okay. This, but this one's easy, so it's 50-50. You have two options. 2002. Yeah, so it's number one, Ronald Waterreus, or number two, Patrick Lodewijks. It's a gamble, bro. I'll go for Waterreus. And you're wrong! Yeah. It was Lodewijks. Second goalkeeper. <laughs> Which player of these two failed to score against Galatasaray in the European Cup game? A. Petr Kluivert for Barcelona or B. Dennis Bergkamp for Arsenal? Oh, let me think, let me think. I don't remember many games of Barcelona. I think Patrick Kluiver didn't score for Galtzer. That is wrong. How? It was Dennis Bergkamp. I think it was the... Was that the final? Yeah, 0-0. <laughs> you need to do your homework, man. <laughs> no, we don't lose our friendship at least. Yeah. <laughs> you don't win, I don't win. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. Çekişmeli, güzel bir challenge oldu Donk'la beraber. 4-4 uh, kazanan olmadı ama ben kendi adıma mutluyum en azından çünkü İtman da uh, bana sert müdahale etmez arkadaşlarımız arkadaşlarımız aynı seviyede kalır <gülüyor> diye düşünüyorum uh, neyse ben memnunum en azından. So. Thank you bro. Donkey.